Okay, so it turns out downloading content from websites on an ESP32 using HTTPS is actually quite complicated. I spent two days trying to find an easy way of doing it. So here's how to achieve it without going mad. There are a few different libraries you could potentially use. The one I managed to get working is Wi-Fi Client Secure. This is basically a wrapper on top of a very widely used Wi-Fi client library. So in the Arduino IDE, you need to ensure that you've got the ESP32 selected first. Then you go to File, and then Examples, and look for the Wi-Fi examples that are under the ESP32. So here they are, and you want Wi-Fi Client Secure. Hopefully you should have this one here. And then we'll use Wi-Fi Client Secure sketch here. So this is basically what you need to connect over SSL. However, before you click away, note that this is a bit mysterious for people. And this is what confuses a lot of people when they're trying to get SSL working with the ESP32. Before we look at that, I'll just briefly mention that in this example, obviously you have to put your Wi-Fi SSID in here and your password in here. Also put the server address of where you want to connect to. Note that you don't have to put HTTPS here. So this is the bit that's very confusing. So let's see what we have to do to this. So it turns out that using SSL is quite complicated in the ESP32. If you're using a regular PC, then the operating system and browsers take care of finding these certificates so that you can connect securely to a website. This is not the case in the ESP32, so we need to make one of these. Note that you need a certificate for each server you're going to connect to. There's probably a better way of doing this, but this does work. So as I explained in the intro, it took me a very long time to figure out how to do this. In fact, I spent a couple of days on it. Finally, I found this random post on somebody's blog, and this really was the Rosetta Stone I needed to get it working. So basically, this runs through how you install a certificate into the code so that you can connect to this server securely. So the first thing you need to do is to find OpenSSL, and I'll link to this in the description below. So this page is a bit confusing, but you should be able to find the binaries for whatever operating system you're using. There is a installer for Windows. Incidentally, I had to install it twice because the first time it didn't install for some reason. So once it's installed, I recommend that you go into program files if you're using Windows and check that it's actually there. So you should have an OpenSSL.exe and it also needs this libcrypto, so ensure that's been installed. So what we need to do now is to copy the path, go to the start menu, type cmd, so you open a command prompt. Then we will cd to the directory, and you control and v, paste it in. The next thing you need to do is to type this command, and I'll put this in the description so you can copy and paste it. Note that whatever website you're connecting to, you have to put it here. So you need to change this, ensure the port's on 443, unless you're using a non-standard port for SSL. So if we type that and press return, then we'll get a load of output here. So you basically need to scroll up here and find the begin certificate and all of this until it says end certificate. Make sure you get it exactly. So you need to copy this, Control C and then paste it into a text editor. So here's mine here and you need to format it so it's in C format. So the beginning of every line needs a double quote and the end of a line needs a slash N, another quote, a space and then a slash. So ensure you've got begin certificate and end certificate. Then you need to go back into your sketch and you need to replace this part here that's in the original sketch and paste in the certificate for whatever web server you're going to connect to. There's a bit more work we have to do. So if we scroll down and we need to look for this. So in the original example, it requests this URL, but it's better to use it like this. So. In this example, I'm just going to go to my website and retrieve the robots.txt file. I've modified the example somewhat so that instead of just printing out the response from the host, it will actually put it into a chart array. So I'll link to my code in the description. I'll try and clean it up a bit. But basically, this number here, this is the buffer size. So 
If you're going to websites and you're expecting a lot more text returns, then you definitely need to increase this number. So now there's a chart array called response and this is much more convenient because you can do other things with it. So now I'll connect the ESP32 to my PC and upload this sketch. So when connecting appears, remember to hold down the boot button. Now look at the serial monitor. Okay, so it's initialized the Wi-Fi. And here's the output. And this is the contents from my robots.txt file. So as you can see, it has worked. So that's basically all you need to do to connect to an HTTPS server using SSL. I hope you found that useful because it really took me a long time to figure this out. Thanks for watching.